Hey guys, Pride here. I have a new deck profile for you guys. I've been working on this deck for a while now, but it's Dino Morpheus. I've been working on this deck, and I think it's going to be one of my new main decks to use because it's a really a lot of fun. It's kind of a risk, a uh, high risk, high reward type of deck because literally every trap card that's a Dino Morphia trap in this deck cuts your life in half. Like wow. Anyway, this monster engine is pretty small. First, I run three Dinomorphia Theresia. Theresia's effect is pretty cool. When she summons, she can take any Dinomorphia trap uh, from your de main deck and set it face down the field. And if this card is destroyed, uh, basically you can banish any trap in your graveyard. This time it's counter some of the other Dinomorphia monster you have in your main deck from the grave to the field. Next, uh, when you activate its ability to set a trap from your, from your deck to the field, if your life points are 2,000 or less, this card gains 500 attack. Next, we run three Dinomorphia Diplos. Diplos effect, when this card is no more special summoned, you get to send any Dinomorphia card from your deck to the graveyard. And if you, if you do that and your life points are 2,000 or less, you inflict 500 damage to your opponent. And again, if this card is destroyed, you can banish any trap in your graveyard to summon Theresia from the grave to the field. And for the final monster, I run Miscellaneous Source because these cards are dinosaur and you just want you always want to run this card in a dino deck. It protects all your dinosaurs from your opponent's card effects for the main phase one. Next, for the spells, again small engine for the spells, three fossil dig. This lets you search out your dino monsters, so long as they're level five or level six or lower. Sorry. Next, for the last one, three pod duality. Because you don't really special summon a lot in your turn, it's mostly in your opponent's turns you special summon. Alright, that's it for the spells, and now for the traps. This is a more for control deck, so we've got three Dinomorphia Domain. This is your fusion trap. It lets you send materials from your hand, deck, or field straight to the graveyard to fuse some of the Dinomorphia monster. But in order to activate this, like I said, all your all your Dinomorphia traps, you have to give up half your life. And as a bonus effect, in the well, when this card's in the graveyard, if your opponent would sit inflict effect damage, you can banish uh, this any normal Dinomorphia trap, any normal one. And basically, you don't take effect damage for that entire turn. Next, I run three Dinomorphia Sonic. It's basically your own judgment. Uh, you pay half your life and it, gets the, and it gets a spell or trap card. And you destroy one of your face up Dinomorphia monsters. Ne and this card's grave effect. Basically, you can banish this card to protect yourself from battle damage. Next, we got Dynamorphia Alert. This card lets you summon up to two monsters so long as their levels are eight or less. Well, equal to eight or less. And again, normal trap, you can banish it to avoid effect damage. And for the final Dynamorphia trap, I run three Dynamor I mean two Dynamorphia Brutes, sorry. This card is a non-targeting destruction. You destroy one card one card Dynamorphia monster on your field and one card on your opponents. Boom, non-targeting. And again, half your life. Alright, that's it for the Dinomorphia traps. For the regular traps, since you're paying half your life anyway, I figured why not run three Psalm Judgments, and I'm also running three Psalm Strikes. Because again, this is a control deck. Next, I'm running three Skill Drain, because our main monster is a B-Sig with 4,000 attack, and its attack is subtracted equal to your life points. So the lower your life points are, the higher its attack gets. And once this card is activated, it negates that and its attack jumps straight to 4k, which is awesome. Next, you, I'm not expecting to go first every time, so I'm at, I'm using three infinite impermanences to try to disrupt my opponent's plays. Next, I'm running three Ice Dragon's Prisons. And finally, two Trap Trick. Okay, that's it for the main deck. For the extra deck, we got three Dynamorphia Ketrogena. This is your 4,000 attack point beater. Basically, uh, 
This this card allows you by paying half your life points, you can banish any Dynamorphia normal trap from your graveyard. And basically its effects become this monster's effects. Even if the card says once even if the card says a hard a hard once per turn, you can still get the effect off by using her effect. And also when this card is destroyed, you can summon you can summon back uh, your Dynamor one of your Dynamorphia monsters back back from the graveyard, as long as they're low four or below. And the best part is, unlike those two, you don't have to banish any traps for this effect. And also, and finally, like I said before, its attack is basically your your life points subtracted from it. So if you have 2k life points, this thing has 2k attack. If you have 4,000 life points, this thing has zero attack. So the lower your life points get, the stronger this card gets. Keep that in mind, okay? Next, I play this Dynamorphia, uh, I believe it's called Stealth Bergia. Sorry, I don't summon it a lot, but it's uh, pretty fun when I do. Basically, Stealth Bergia, first effect when this car is on the field and your life points are 2,000 or less, you no longer have to pay life points to activate your trap cards. So, say if you have 1,000 life points, you have a face down some strike, you can activate it without the cost. And again, when this car is destroyed, summon a Dynamorphia from your graveyard. So long as it's level four or below. And finally, if your opponent activates an effect, you can use this effect, you can effect, and your opponent takes damage equal to that monster's attack. Okay, that's it for the fusions. And finally, for the exceeds. First, I run one Dulka and one Logia. I run one Castell, and I run a Zeus package. Since you can basically only summon level 4 monsters, I figured going the Utopia route was the best option to, for Zeus. Because it's not like we can summon anything else. Now Zeus is kind of a last resort for me since it kind of hurts me as well when I use its effect. But hey, when it comes out, it comes in real handy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. And don't forget to check out my Twitter. I created solely for this YouTube channel. If you get, please follow, if you got basically, you guys can message me anytime on there if you have any criticism, maybe ways I can improve, or if you just want to talk, I'm there, and it'll be down below in in the description. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Now, see you guys next time. Later.